Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. Let us consider a uniform magnetic field of induction B acting along the Z axis. A particle of charge Q and mass M moves in XY plane. At a point P, the velocity of the particle is V. The magnetic Lorentz force on the particle is Vector f is equal to q into vector v cross vector b. Hence, vector f acts along p o perpendicular to the plane containing vector v and vector b. Since the force acts perpendicular to its velocity, the force does not do any work. So, the magnitude of the velocity remains constant and only its direction changes. The force F acting towards the point O acts as the centripetal force and makes the particle to move along a circular path. At points Q and R, the particle experiences force along Q, O and R, O respectively. Since vector V and vector B are at right angles to each other, F is equal to BQV. Sin 90 degree is equal to BQV. This magnetic Lorentz force provides the necessary centripetal force. BQV is equal to MV square by R. R is equal to MV by BQ. This is equation number 1. It is evident from this equation that the radius of the circular path is proportional to mass of the particle and velocity of the particle. From equation 1, V by R is equal to BQ by M. Omega is equal to BQ by M. This is equation number 2. This equation gives the angular frequency of the particle inside the magnetic field. Period of rotation of the particle, T is equal to 2 pi by omega. T is equal to 2 pi m by bq. This is equation number 3. From equations 2 and 3, it is evident that the angular frequency and period of rotation of the particle in the magnetic field do not depend upon the velocity of the particle and radius of the circular path. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.